Torres, Nacional Torres, Ragged Point. Someone was recommending me to visit here. I don't remember who or why, but it looks maybe not that interesting. Oh no, Washington. Picture time! It's just so beautiful up here, I don't even know what to take pictures of and what to just skip. I'm gonna end up taking too many pictures, I'm gonna be late to Sam Pants Cisco. This is freaking gorgeous. <laughs> I am ready for the sun to come out. Oh, that's disgusting. I guess I should ride with my visor down. It's going to be a buggy buggy ride. I believe I have dead bug in my eye. Well, I can believe it. I'm just disappointed by it. Alright. No more dead bugs on my glasses. Averaging 40 miles an hour, including stops. And slow corners and everything else. Not too bad, not too shab. Didn't want it to come to that. But I'm probably going to have to do another camera dump because I've been foolishly recording while stopping to take pictures and stuff and I just discovered that my fancy pants SLR is taking a lot of pictures that are going to be kind of not very good anyway because somehow a bunch of dirt and crap got inside the lens on the inside of it so it's on the back of the glass where you can't reach to clean it so I don't know what you do I guess you have to send it in to have them take it apart and clean it, but for what that costs, it's probably cheaper to just buy a new freaking lens. So, I guess I'll stick to iPhone pictures for the rest of the trip, or I could just take well-composed, nice, you know, tailored FOV pictures with shit on them. second time this trip so far I've had to stop because so it's not like I mean I don't think little rocks or bugs or anything are flying into my eye I'm wearing glasses like nothing can just like shoot through my glasses but there's some kind of like there's got to be some dust or gas or pollen or something that keeps getting in my eyes and it just it burns like a mother 
and I start crying, my eyes start watering, my nose starts running, and I have to pull over and stop because I literally can't see. My eyes just puff up and I gotta stop, take a rest, dab my eyes off with some uh, toilet paper or whatever before I can continue. And I can't ride with my visor closed because it's too cold out and it'll fog up. It's really cold out actually. I'm a bit shivery. Whoa. State Propata. Big Creek. Yeah, it is. Oh, there's like houses down there. Not a Ninja 650's natural habitat, but it'll have to do. Cause there's another good photo op. Photo op, photo op. I love photo ops. Oh, the sun is finally coming out. Thank goodness! Will it make it warmer or just prettier? I will take either or both. I'd prefer both. Although I do find that the melancholy of a cloudy day can be just as picturesque as a sunny one. Oh, for sakes, man. Alright, I'll pull over again. Just not my day for ocular health, I suppose. plugged in at all. Not my day, is it? Come on. Come on. South Coast Toyota South Coast Toyota! South Coast Toyota! Down there at uh, Julia Pfeiffer Burns State Park, which I just passed, there's a, a really cool little trail you can take. You can hike down it and you can see an old, uh, I'm not sure exactly what it is, it's like a little water station. Old fashioned, early, early, like 1900s early 1900s era water station of some kind, like a hydroelectric station I think. Super duper old school. And then if you follow the trail down a little further it takes you to a little cove where there's a waterfall and stuff. I think it's like a ground spring, like groundwater spring. And it, uh, so there's like a waterfall that comes right out of the cliff and uh, falls into the cove and then goes out into the ocean. It's really beautiful, and I would have liked to stop there, but I could only make so many stops, and I've been making too many of them as it is for pictures and things, so uh, I apologize for having to skip that one, but it's just not going to happen on this trip. Arizona. Wow, it's got to suck to be a surfer and live in Arizona, unless you got lots of time and, you know, vacation time and money to spend trekking out to some coast or other to do your surfing. Oh, come on, guy. Don't make me do it. Thank you. Another cool bridge! I love these old bridges, man, but they're starting to fall apart and the state is... I don't know what they're going to do about it. I don't know if they'll try and retrofit them or if they'll tear them down, rebuild new ones, what their plan is. It's too bad if they've got to tear them down. They're beautiful, beautiful old bridges up along the PCH. There's already one of them that's newer, it's more modern looking, and it's just not pretty in any way, in any way at all. It's just a big blocky concrete construction construct. It's not attractive, it's not picturesque. I like the nice old-fashioned bridges. 
from the days of yore. Oh, the sun is glorious. I'm loving it.